consider a glass slab A, B, C, D. Here, T is the thickness of the glass slab. Now, mark a point P at the bottom of the glass slab. Due to the refraction of light at the surface AB, the point appears to raise and it looks like the point P is at P dash. Here, P is the original marked point and P dash is the virtual image of the point P. The distance between the point P and the point of view N is the real depth, where the distance between the point P dash and the point of view N is the apparent depth which is due to the refraction of light. Using the concept of real depth and apparent depth, refractive index of the glass slab mu is equal to real thickness by apparent thickness. The aim of this experiment is to determine refractive index of a glass slab using a travelling microscope. The apparatus used in this experiment are three glass slabs of different thickness but of same material, a travelling microscope, lycopodium powder. The travelling microscope is a compound microscope fitted vertically on a vertical scale. The base of the travelling microscope consists of a levelling screws which helps in adjusting the base horizontally. It can move up and down and left and right carrying a vernier scale along with it. Here you can see the horizontal main scale and vernier scale. Similarly. You can see the vertical main scale and vernier scale. At any given position, the readings are taken by combining the main scale and vernier scale readings. Now, let us see the least count of the travelling microscope. Here, 50 divisions of vernier scale is equal to 49 divisions of the main scale. So, 1 vernier scale division is equal to 49 by 50 main scale divisions. Since the least count is defined as the difference between 1 main scale division and 1 vernier scale division, least count is equal to 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division that is equal to 1 main scale division minus 49 divided by 50 main scale divisions that is equal to 1 divided by 50 main scale divisions. Least count is equal to 0 0.01 millimeters, that is 0 0.001 centimeters.
least count of the traveling microscope is length of one main scale division divided by number of divisions on vernier scale length of one main scale division is equal to 0.5 mm length of one main scale division is equal to 0.5 mm number of divisions on vernier scale is equal to 50 therefore least count is equal to 0.5 divided by 50 that is 0.01 mm or 0.001 centimeters reading on the vertical scale when the microscope is focused on the cross mark without the glass lab r1 4.35 plus 47 into 0.001 that is equal to 4.397 centimeters reading on the vertical scale when the microscope is focused on the cross mark with the glass lab r2 4.95 plus 41 into 0.001 that is equal to 4.991 centimeters reading on the vertical scale when the microscope is focused on the lycopodium powder r3 6.45 plus 5 into 0 0.001 that is equal to 6.455 centimeters real thickness r3 minus r1 is equal to 2.058 centimeters apparent thickness r3 minus r2 is equal to 6.455 minus 4.991 which is 1.464 centimeters refractive index n is equal to r3 minus r1 divided by r3 minus r2 which is 2.058 divided by 1.464 which is 1.405 Similarly, the other observations are as follows. Mean refractive index is equal to 1.405 plus 1.433 plus 1.371 divided by 3 that is equal to 1.403. IP should be adjusted such that parallax is properly removed. A thin layer of lycopodium powder should be sprinkled on top of the glass lab. To avoid backlash error, the microscope should be moved only in one direction.